Hi, I'm Dan from Fat Bloke Doing Stuff and I'm, well I'm going for a bike ride, you can probably tell by the helmet and the glasses and the, well you can't see the bike, but look at this, it's a glorious day, it's absolutely beautiful and uh, yeah, there are sheep and there's the sea and yeah, I'm having a lovely time, so uh, see how I get on and uh, catch me a bit. Anyway, back out on the Specialised. Uh, haven't put the rear mudguard on yet. It's soon time to, I think. I also need to get a set of bearings at some point and get all that sorted out. I think I'll do that in the new year. Uh, I think these bearings have got this winter in them. And I need to get a puller, yeah, pulling kit and But yeah, it's a nice day. It's uh the first nice day for a little while and um it's gonna be shit tomorrow. So I thought I would uh nip out on the bike whilst Mum and Gabby have gone down to a local beach with the dog. I was really tempted just to stay inside. I've been playing a load of um, strategy games recently. Started playing uh, Dyson Sphere Project last night. And I had to stop myself getting too far into it because I would have just I just um, <laughs> spent all night playing it if I hadn't uh, had a little go of our uh, history come told. I think that's what it's called. The new one from Microsoft Studios. It's all right. Uh, you can definitely tell that some. Uh, some other people worked on Civ. Uh, I, I need to get deeper into the game. Uh, and the other one I'm playing is uh, Age of Myths Retold, I think. Uh, I'm working through the campaign on that uh, it's much more like Command and Conquer than Civ no, I'm loving it alright they're just stopping okay no worries Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm about a third of the way through. Actually, it might be a bit further. Uh, going through the first campaign uh, it's good fun it's it's kind of cool you get some god powers uh, obviously it's set uh, set quite substantially in the past um, there's Atlanteans Greeks uh, Romans. Are they Romans? Perhaps I haven't met Romans. 
I have met some Norse men. Uh, when you're playing with them, you can uh, you get different abilities based on uh, the religions. So when you're playing with the Egyptian characters, their pharaohs are quite powerful. And instead of having to have worshippers at a temple to get your mana, you just um, build yeah, shrines, basically. getting up this hill much better than I used to. Whew. This uh, hill still sucks though. I am regretting not wearing my shorts. Hopefully, in the new year, I will be in a position to uh, purchase a new camera, which would be rather nice. I need to get uh, a store car cleared, uh, which I should have done by then. And um, with a bit of luck, uh, the camera I'm looking at might even be in the sale, which would be fantastic. Um, I, as much as I'd like to get the Insta uh, 3X or whatever it is, the 360 one, uh, it's a lovely camera, especially the latest version. And it'd be great for surfing and uh, as, as well as cycling. Um, I'm actually going to go for the much smaller camera, which uh, it, it's it's going to be handy because Gabby will be able to use it for her videos. And I can use it with its extra base uh, to give it more battery power for bike rides and things. So 
So it's just a kind of a more versatile camera basically. And less bulky than this thing. Uh, of course it will also give me much more options because uh, I can record with two cameras so that'd be cool uh. I, if I get some longer bolts for this thing here I could I could have a fork cam which might be fun I'll give that a go definitely anyway back up the hill I think that might be a record for me coming up that hill on this bike. I know it's not very good, is it? But it's better than nothing. Okay. So I'm Gonna ride a bit of the route I last rode on this bike, uh, but it's gonna be a much smaller loop because, uh, well, I've got stuff to do. Is this still recording? My god, it is. Excellent. Ah, uh, yes, this traffic control. Uh, yeah, well, we'll see it in a bit. The, uh, the Linton to Bounceable Railway that I kind of mock by heartedly. Uh, they've got a steam gala today. And we're going to ride around some of it.
Okay. Hello, sheeps. Okay, this is getting annoying. Okay, that might have tightened it up a bit. So you pull the handle up and the gate moves with the handle. Anyway. I think I got across this field. Ah, what a beautiful day. I'm gonna have to take a photograph. So yeah. Let's go across the field and head towards This old uh, steam gala thing. Which I'm most definitely not paying to go into. Uh, because, well, I'm on a bike ride. Open up the fork and the shock. Okay, they're all running to the gate I'm going to. Straggler.
Nè Okay. So I'm going to sit here for a bit. I say sit lean against my bike for a bit. And have one of my energy snacks, which is a homemade flapjack, which apparently is nothing like uh, what Americans call a flapjack. Sorry about the bag, but I need to get it into my bag to get it. Aha. Anyway, oops, sorry. Oh dear. There we go. So, yeah, this is uh, a very basic flapjack. I used uh, 125 grams of oats. Oh, here comes the train. Uh, 125 grams of oats. Uh, half that of sugar and butter and a tablespoon of golden syrup. Yeah. There's a patch train. Uh, you will see it will get to the end of the line very soon. Anyway, this is one. Uh, if you cook them longer, they get harder. And if you don't cook them quite so long, they get softer. I like them crunchy. Hmm. Added a pinch of salt as well. I believe it's coming back now. I just saw some steam. Or possibly smoke. It um, has a distinctive smell, and I find it kind of ironic that uh, uh, you know, there are people in parts of the country where they're not allowed to use log burners because of the air pollution, but on this national park, it used to be so, oh, I don't know if it's still a site of special scientific interest, an area of outstanding natural beauty, all of those things that it's got going for it. And uh, yeah, we've got this toy train set. 
that probably goes through a house's month worth of coal in a couple of days. I mean, the railway people's argument is it brings people to the area and you know, it's good for tourism and yada, yada, yada. Uh, my counterpoint to that is it's an uh, area of outstanding natural beauty and special scientific interest. It's beautiful. We've got beaches. We've got miles and miles of bridleways, footpaths, brilliant pubs, the villages, woods, yeah, Norman forts, ancient villages. We've got Neolithic village stoneworks and sites that we, we keep finding on Exmoor. Um, there's the dinosaur place I haven't been to, but well, I think I'm going to that um, soon. They're doing a spooky thing. Um, so, you know, there's lots of, there's lots of stuff other than a little railway that, that's called the Linton to Barnstable Railway, but it doesn't even, it, well, it doesn't start in Linton and it doesn't get to Barnstable. <laughs> if you look on the map, it starts at Woody Bay Station, which again isn't at Woody Bay, and it doesn't quite get to Paracum. Um, yeah, they've done a good job. 20 years I've been here and they've been working on it. And um, I mean, it, it's not for me to judge. People can do what they want with their money. They've been buying up the land and, uh, you know, trying to, they really want to get this project done. They, they think that people are going to commute to, to Barnstable on it and, I mean, I'm not sure that it will because it's quite expensive now just to go to the end of the line and back. I think it's like 10 quid per person. Might be a bit less. I'm not sure. I haven't looked for a while. I can't remember. I'll look it up later. Um, but yeah, it's... I mean, not many people use the bus. And there's a bus that goes from Linton to Barnstable several times a day. All right. Oh, they've tied it. Oh, that's nice of them. It's a damn bridal way. Oh. 
And I've got my pedal stuck. Oh yeah, uh, if you see those cars in the distance, if you can see them, uh, yeah that's the end of the line, so it doesn't go very far. Anyway. Son of a bitch. Did it again.
<sighs> it is quite cool in the shade, or cold even. I'm gonna have to start wearing base layers soon. Whew. It's a steep hill, all right? So yeah, I went to uh, the hospital last week for a checkup. I have a bicuspid heart valve. So it's got two lobes instead of three. I think I've mentioned it before. Uh, anyway, uh, everything looks fine. So I don't have to go back for two years. And, uh, yeah, I need to do some, not research, I need to Google something. Because uh, the guy said, any warning signs? And I was like, nope. And it wasn't until I left that I was like, I don't know what the warning signs are, to be honest. <laughs> is where my direction changes from the last ride. Which still means there's another one that I haven't written yet. Uh, this one's very short though. In fact, I think it's just to that gate, and then I'm on the road. Ooh. Now a few times I've looked at this gate wondering if I could go through here to cut off the road section I'm going to do and the answer is yes but there's a steep hill 
but I also get to go down a steep hill so I might do that next time because it's kind of fun anyway Back on the road with the noblest of my tyres. Yeah, this next bit's going to be quite a lot of road, unfortunately. Uh, but it should be fun at least. Yeah, there's a leaf on my wheel. Yeah, yeah, stuck with shit. <laughs> it's hitting my mud guard. Okay. Indexing is a little bit off. Let's try one more. Ah, that's bad, bad. <clears throat> Ages ago I talked about upgrades to this bike and I haven't done any yet. 
uh, apart from the mug guards and the saddle. I had to replace the front. Uh, axle um, but yeah I, I did put some carbon bars on my cross-country bike and I really like them uh, and the carbon bars on my road bike as well actually they feel a bit more compliant there's a bit of give to them Less vibrations coming through, which I think is a good thing. So I would like to do that, and I think I'm going to actually go for slightly narrower than these. These do feel a little bit wide. So, yeah. I'll consider it. I don't know. I haven't quite made up my mind. But yeah, all in all, I still love this bike. I love all my bikes, to be honest. I'd like to get some faster rolling tyres at some point, but these are very good in the mud, so I'm not going to uh, get rid of them until I absolutely need to. Uh, these are the ones that came with the bike. Um, and yeah, I quite like them. I've been running these Uh, pretty much but the first few rides I did were with inner tubes it's been tubeless ever since I topped them up I check the fluid every six months or so clean the old gunk out clean the valves uh, touch wood uh, not one flat. I may well have had them and they've sealed up automatically because that's how tubeless is supposed to work. But I've not had to use a uh, plug to plug any gaps in them. They feel quite hard wearing. They feel quite heavy. Uh, But yeah, the brakes, they're just... <sighs> SLX. Um... Got 11 speed. I think it's an XDR rear mech that came on this. Uh, but it's not an XTR shifter. I've never had an XTR shifter. I'd quite like to have one. So that's a possible upgrade. It's not a possible upgrade, it's a definite upgrade. Uh, if I ever got YouTube famous, And I could buy you know, any parts for my bike. I would totally uh, yeah I, I, I would I would definitely have a wireless dropper post 
and probably why it's shifting. I love how it makes the bike look so much cleaner. You've just got the brake hoses. That'd be pretty sweet. But let's face it, that's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> oh, what a beautiful day for a ride. I'm so glad. I wasn't feeling it to start with. I was sat at home and I was thinking, I don't know. I kind of... kind of feel sleepy. kind of just want to chill out at home. Have some time to myself. I play some video games guilt free. But... Fuck okay, it, it's going to rain tomorrow. I really hope we get some snow this winter. I can't wait for another snowy bike ride. They are some of my favourites. Maybe not on the road, obviously that's how it gets sketchy, but yeah, mountain biking in snow, so much fun. As for these headphones I'm testing, that I can't say much about. I use them all the time now. And they're really good. <laughs> uh, when, when I know what they'll actually be called, uh, I will be able to give you my thoughts on them. Uh, but of course, I probably won't have my hands on a finer production model. Now apparently they've made some improvements and they're sending out a new pair for me to test. So, uh, I'm looking forward to trying those as well. You know? uh, at the moment, apart from a couple of things, I, I can hardly recommend them.
Whew. Okay, so last time I was on this bike, the bit I've just done with the road and the bit I'm doing now is the bit that I decided not to add on because I was getting cramp. Uh, which is a shame because I really like this bit coming up. That bit is quite the rock garden.
Okay, well that's it for this ride. Uh, thank you if you've made it this far. Um, I'm not sure when the next video is going to be. I'm not sure what the next video is going to be. But uh, if you could like, comment, subscribe, do all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, until next time, take it easy. and back at my favorite pub. <laughs>